My name's Malcolm Moby. I'm very proud to be the 11th serving head teacher of this prestigious school. I'm privileged to teach some of the brightest students within Gravesham, but also have an incredibly strong teaching staff that are able to develop our young people. Our core values are very important to us. These are rooted in respect, hard work, friendship and exploration. Our most successful students have not only showed these traits in school, but also in the wider aspects of their lives. When you're looking for a secondary school, what really you should be looking for is that environment where they are going to be most nurtured, their individual needs are going to be met, and where they're going to be happiest and therefore thrive the most. At Graves and Grammar School, we offer a traditional academic core, which is centred around English, Maths and Science, the humanities and a language, as well as supplemented by a range of other subjects which add breadth to the curriculum. My favourite subject has to be Spanish. I've learnt so much and I've just been here four weeks. My favourite subject so far is science, as we get to study the world around us and we get to use lots of cool equipment. I believe the best thing I've done so far is the burnt and burners. We learnt how to heat substances. The thing that I've most enjoyed is cracks, which is creative exploration. Sometimes you do a bit of art, sometimes acting and sometimes music. I've learnt some new things that I might not have done at primary school. Building bridges in engineering. And also, I've learnt a lot more about my grammar in English. As you can see from this video, we've been able to blend a traditional architecture with very modern facilities. For example, our sports complex, our science labs, lecture theatre, design and technology suites, and our art studio, all designed to give students the best experience that they can. When they come and start with us in Year 7, my first three things that I'll be asked them to do is to take part. Take part in their learning, to actively engage in that learning, not see this as a one-way process where they're going to be absorbing the knowledge of the teacher still at the front, but where a two-way cycle will take place and actually they will push themselves further than they maybe have done before. We develop the whole child through our extensive extracurricular programme in sport, music and drama our Duke of Edinburgh award scheme, our staff organising well over 200 trips and visits over any given year. I've joined hockey and rugby and I thoroughly enjoy them. I'm going to be asking them to take part in something they haven't done before. That might be an extracurricular sport or activity such as music or art or drama. It could be in a debate society, get involved in the medical and engineering clubs. and It's something that is going to broaden their horizons. To support our young people, we have our student support officers at Key Stage 3, 4 and 5, but also our learning support assistants, our cover supervisors and our counselling team. When I arrived, I saw the massive building and I had butterflies, but I knew deep down that it was going to be an amazing day. The first thing I said to my parents was that I survived and I told them that I knew this school would push me above and beyond my limits. I was quite worried. I would get lost and get a lot of things wrong. There are kind teachers to help you around and even older students to help you find your way to lessons. We know that some younger students will find it hard to speak to older students. It's at the end of the day, everyone's been in the exact same situation and we just want to share our experience and make sure that they feel more at home. We need to have a caring environment. What I am very fortunate to have at Key Stage 3 and right the way through the school is a very well developed support network. All of these people whose primary focus and main job in the school is actually to look after these students on a day to day basis. When I came to GGS, being an English class, I felt myself being behind. English teachers took notice of that and it helped me after lessons, yeah, go through the lesson again. I feel like I've made the perfect choice joining the school. I've settled in very well, just looking forward to what the future has to offer at GGS. We want to be more than just an 8.30 to 3.30 exams factory. Exam results are a very simplistic view of the education that we're hoping to offer. These boys are going to leave us and go into a world which is increasingly competitive and where they've got to be more than just a set of numbers. Where they've actually got to stand out as a whole person, as a well-rounded individual with a set of skills which are attractive to universities initially, hopefully, and then to future employers. Our students go on to study a huge range of subjects at university from medicine and veterinary science to law and architecture. Our standards are exceptionally high. 
which allows our students to go on to some of the best universities in the world, including Oxford and Cambridge. But not all our students do go to university and some may opt for high level apprenticeships. And with London on our doorstep, this is quite an attractive option. I'm currently an A-level student studying maths, further maths, physics and economics, and I hope to go on to study economics at Cambridge. I'm currently studying physics, maths and biology, and I want to go to Surrey to study mechanical engineering. I take maths, politics and economics, and I plan to study economics at university. I'm currently studying maths, biology, chemistry and physics, and I want to go on to become a science teacher. It's really as simple as um, including Gravesend as one of the preferences on your secondary school common application form. That's how you apply to our school if our name is on that list and your application has been made. If you want more information, there's a wealth of stuff on our website that you can access. We're not interested in scores. We are just interested in those who pass their Kent test and who live locally primarily in the borough of Gravesham, uh, but also some of the surrounding parishes. And this time, for the first time, we've extended our regions out as far as Stone, Darrenth, into Medway, in Cliff and Cliff Woods. I wish you all the best in choosing your next school. I hope Gravesham Grammar School is the choice, and I hope to see as many of you as I can in the next few years. Thank you very much.